beautiful sunrise starting to come up. The water starting to sneak in. Got the fire sort of going a bit. Had a, um, a change of wind last night. It got around to the west. That might have been what stirred up the mozzies, brought them back out of that swamp back in behind us and giving my dog a bit of a a bit of a liven up, but it didn't seem to I got out of bed a few times and it I just they didn't attack you like you you know, if they were bad like you think they would, but um anyway I let her off. She done a bit of a run into the scrub, so maybe she needed to just go to the toilet and but she was still sort of a bit unsettled all night. So there must have been a few giving her a bit of a bit of a liven up. Anyway. Now what a pretty good place to wake up to of a morning. Not bad at all. Hey Mr. Eagle, they got some sort of sea eagle I guess. It's a big bird. I've seen them around before and I guess they're a bit um, territorial I guess. They'd hang around here. I noticed yesterday down on one top of these um, snags here there was a big fish bone so I guess something like him might have been sitting on top of the bloody you know, the, the fallen over tree having a feed of a, what was left of a fish fish frame someone had caught or whatever yeah that's pretty cool eh Humicky Island to the right of the sun a little bit further around you got Curtis Island all the way around to Port Elmer and up the mouth of the mighty Fitzroy River up to Rockhampton pretty damn good you can see that island in the distance there, that's Peak Island, that's a turtle sanctuary actually. We get a few turtles along this beach here nesting. So Hey Mr. Eagle, I got nothing for you. Maybe I can get your fish frame later on. The whiting decide to play the game. I've just come up to a little spot here, there's a few gutters as you can see here, so I've caught some good whiting here before. The tide's running in, so they start pushing up into these gutters here. So hopefully I'll um, jag a couple this morning. I've got about 20 yabbies, so I'll give that a go and uh, see if I can jag a bit of a feed. Well, guys, it looks like the uh, tide's not going to be big enough to push up into those into that gutter like I'd hoped. So I'm just out the mouth of it here now. The tide is actually starting to drop off. I'm just shredding a yabby on there and have a bit of a cast out. That westerly wind's probably going to play a little havoc with the fishing, I'd say, but we'll give it a go. I've got a few yabbies, so a bit of time to kill before I can go and have a look at those pots. So we'll have a bit of a cast out here and see how we go. The old yabbies, they're pretty easy to put on the hook. Very similar to a prawn. This guy's got no nippers, so he's not going to I probably bloody broke him off when I pumped him out of his hole, but yeah, just shred him on like so. Try and get the barb through that hard part of their body so they stay on when you cast them out. So I did have a bite there before, so there's obviously something sneaking around, but it's not real active. Got that Wesley at me back, so it helps with the casting. Oh, looks like I might have got a little one, maybe. So they're here, but they're just not real hungry. Oh, he might be a bit bigger than I thought he was, this fella. Hey, you're a bit quiet, fellas, aren't you? You got a bit of a measuring stick here. I can hold him without losing him. Not even 23, not big enough. Ah well, the things that get washed up on the beach. A hey, little bit of coral there. Nice orangey sort of colour. Get a lot of things washed up on this beach. Yeah. Ah oh, well, it's the rough weather I suppose or whatever. Breaks them off or loosens them up. Yeah, unreal. Oh, well that hasn't paid off, so I'm going to uh, make my way back to camp and um, 
pretty keen to go and run these crab pots. Maybe, uh, maybe the crabs are hungrier than the whiting at the moment. So uh, I'll head on back there and and uh, grab a bit of gear, a bucket, and so forth, and a bit of string in case I do catch one, and we'll uh, see how we go. Do the jungle walk. See what's about. Pretty sloppy in here. Uh, Mr. Crocodile is not feeling hungry. Oh Jesus, that's foggy. Bit hard to escape too quickly here. Oh, I can see a crab. A lot of mud too. I did see a little crab there somewhere. Not much size about him. Right. In amongst all this mess, I see an undersized buck, I think. That's him there. Have a look at him. Get him out of there. Oh, little fella. God, what a mucky old bottom. Flip him over. There you go. Little male buck crab. Way too small. Anyway. I think I'll find another spot to put this pot. We can get him back into it up the creek a little bit more. <laughs> Give it a go. See how we go. I don't think there's a great deal of water coming up this creek yet. Tides are still building, so the crabbing should improve with a bit of luck if we uh, miss out today. There's something in there. Looks like probably a jenny. Oh yeah, pip. Look out, get out of the Yeah, it looks like a big jenny there. Anyways, crab around, just not the right size and and sex. But anyway. Can't always be successful. Yeah, I'll go. Don't roll back. They can turn themselves back on each other pretty well. But yeah, that's the Jenny crab with the, the fan tail there. But they can, um, if you ever got to pick a crab up, as you've seen before, they can turn themselves back over, each, over the back of their selves pretty well. So, but normally you can, you've got to approach them from behind, of course. But yeah, I can let this old girl back can breed on looks like another bit of an opening in here so I'll give it it's about 40 meters 50 meters from where I was so a little shift might go all right give it a go in there Oh, this rope. Yeah, as you can see, um, this is the mouth of that creek I've got the crab pots in. There's virtually no water coming up this creek at the moment, so you know, you're just relying on what crabs are, are in there, which is, you know, it's a good opportunity that, um, you know, crabs stay in holes like that and the creek just gets topped up when the tides get big enough. I see there's a few yabby holes here, you might be able to see them. Might be a few more 
up this way than the, what there would be um, out on the flats where I was before. So yeah, I might, it's worth my while coming up here and and having a pump for a few of them on, even on the other side over here. See quite a few holes, so obviously they'd be a bit thicker up here. So if you're having a good whiting session, it'd be worth coming for a look and having a pump up here. Quite a few holes there, so. Anyway, I'm going to have a bit of a wash off here. Get some of this mud off me. And then uh, probably head back to camp and work out what the next uh, plane's going to be. So yeah, just an example of uh, what can happen on the beach down here. Remains of a vehicle. It's claimed a lot over the years. I've come pretty close a couple of times myself. But um, yeah. The quad bikes, here's a go. They're a bit restricted to what you can, you know, do with it as far as car stuff and that sort of stuff. But yeah. One, got one. Fish on, fish on. I don't know how big he is. It took a while. Here we go. Whoa, get a load of that sucker. Hey, that's all right. Took a while. Very good. Nice whitey. He'd be just legal, that lad. Look at that, Pip. Hey, nice fish. Nice little summer whiting. I only got one big enough. I'll chuck him in the water hole here for a while. We'll have another cast.